So you just you just um, created empathy last year, right? And, and normally you wouldn't be willing to sell now, but it was just too good to pass up the way Constellation can can take this to the next to the next level, next five levels. Constellation is the leading wine business in the world, and the reality is that Nate, John, and I, my founders, wanted to produce the greatest twenty dollar wine direct to consumer. And the reality of the winemaking, the vineyards, the infrastructure, I mean, Constellation is not only years, not only decades, but centuries ahead of where we are just 18 months into this process. So, yeah, it, this is one of those one plus one equals 11, where both sides of the equation bring so much value, it becomes a no-brainer. So you're right, not in kind of my DNA to sell businesses, um, but uh, but here we are. It, if this is a time where we're all dealing with things, I guess, Robert, and, and restaurants and bars are such a huge uh, generator of revenue for Constellation, it, but when that's not possible, you gotta go with the direct, or, or you gotta go where, what pe with what people are doing, and this fits in perfectly with that, right? Like a wine library type thing, which was another Gary company. Yeah, exactly, uh, you know, Gary and I have been talking about this uh, opportunity for over nine months now. So it was certainly pre the COVID crisis, but uh, you're right. The consumers really shifted their uh, consumption during during the COVID crisis. Uh, pre COVID, only about a third of people knew you could buy wine online. Now that number is 80 to 90%. And, uh, you know, we loved empathy for two reasons, really. Uh, uh, the brand itself is fantastic, as Gary mentioned, you know, incredible quality wine at $20 a bottle. Uh, but it's also sustainably farmed, farmed to bottle. It's sold direct from their winery, direct to consumer. It's a digital native brand. And they built the brand on an incredible platform, Shopify Plus, which is so consumer focused, which is unique for the wine business. Uh, and their insights and analytics, plus their speed and agility of innovation are super compelling to us because we'll be able to apply that same business model to our high end portfolio. Robert Mandavi Winery, See Me, the Prisoner Wine Company, uh, Trader, Tokolon Vineyard Company. So the opportunity to do both things and to scale the business Gary and John and Nate created, 15,000 cases can be scaled up dramatically, but also to drive significant growth, above market growth with the rest of our portfolio. So it, the, the revenue in this environment is not as good, but the, the margins are much higher for, for DTC, for direct to consumer. Yeah, the growth is actually dramatically higher in the digital commerce channels than the regular market. Uh, we've seen the consumer really pivot. So let's say in DTC, uh, there's been about seven to 10 years of development over the last three months. If you were in a regular cycle, it would have taken much longer. But given what's occurred during COVID-19 and how consumers are choosing digital commerce, the growth rates have been incredible. Uh, D, uh, DTC is growing at more than two times the rate of the general market. Uh, we've seen numbers from 50% increases to about 500% increases across our brand portfolio. The platforms like Drizzly and Instacart are also growing at that rate. So uh, it, it's a terrific growth opportunity for us. And as you say, the margins in a direct-to-consumer business are usually 15 to 20% higher uh, than our wholesale business.